and this is an open letter to my mother. Mommy, I just turned two and you're the first woman I have ever loved. I look at you like you put the stars in the sky. And I guess for me, you did. Mommy, right now I'm four and I'm not really sure why you and daddy yell all the time. Everyone at church tells me that things will be okay, that, that you and daddy will make up, but things don't really sound okay to me. They sound more like screaming and fighting. Maybe, maybe you guys will just break up. Mommy, being six without you is hard, but my foster parents are nice. <coughs> I miss you. Can I see you soon? Mom, I'm 10 and you don't see me very much. Dad has had custody for a few years and he told the judge she is a theory. Crazy is environmental, not hereditary. I keep wondering why you don't make time for me. Mom, 12 is even harder without you and I blame myself for the reason that you left. It's not like it seemed to affect you or anything and do you realize that I stay up crying because of you, asking, wondering what I could have done to make you stay. There was hardly even a warning sign. You just left. Why would you leave for a man? A man in Texas. We still don't talk much. Lisa, I'm 16 now and we rarely talk. It took you $250 of my dad's hard work and the traveling time of 16 hours just to have dinner with my family. Lisa, I have defined my sexuality and you've the nerve to tell me that I am a mistake, that there is something wrong with me. You told me that it is not okay for me to love a woman, but after you, she has been the second. I look at her like she puts the stars in the sky. Mother, by the time I get married, I hope you understand. <laughs>